little YouTube. It's uh, 6.15 p.m. And a uh, nice balmy 76 degrees Fahrenheit out there. Hopefully I'll be meeting up with the wife to have a little birthday dinner for myself. Nothing major, just a quickie bite to eat. Uh, one of her favorite restaurants. <laughs> she is a vegetarian, bordering on vegan. So uh, when we do go out, try to make sure that uh, she has a good choice of stuff to pick from. I'm a carnivore. So as long as they have uh, burgers or some such, I'm uh, just fine. And got the uh, computer parts ordered today. Got the uh, computer case has already been shipped from New Jersey. And uh, the rest of it is being packaged. Hopefully it might get shipped tonight or tomorrow morning. Either way, they're all, all being shipped three business days, so of the usual holdovers they have, uh, they'll be showing up same time. And uh, let me see, what do we get? Uh, NZXT case, the H630. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ordered the uh, Asus. X99A, decided not to go with the Pro or the Deluxe version, but aside from the heat pipe on it and uh, one extra expansion slot of the X16 variety, which I'm not going to go into SLI or anything on this computer, not for the foreseeable future, uh, considering the graphics card we bought. Um, let's see, oh, that was a bit where it is. I almost missed this place. A gap in my gums. There it is. So we got the uh, X99A motherboard from Asus, and we're getting uh, the Intel, what you call it, uh, 6 core, 5930K. And uh, we will be getting also, oh, uh, what is it, uh, 64 gigabytes of G-Skill uh, DDR4 RAM. And what else are we getting on that one? Uh, now for uh, cooling, we're going with liquid cooling. Getting the, I know it's a little noisier than the other one because of the, you know, the aluminum radiator block, but it's a Corsair H110i GTX. And let's see, what else are we getting there? Getting a EVGA 750 uh, watt, 80 plus gold power supply for it all. And as an incidental, because it needs to be done, is the uh, Arctic Silver 5. CPU thermal paste. Um, is there anything else in that one? I think that's about it. Eight items. So we got case, CPU, motherboard, RAM, thermal paste, power supply, cooler. I'm missing one item. What is that? Uh, shucky darn. Okay, case. Motherboard, CPU, cooler, RAM, 
power supply, thermal paste. Oh man, there's eight items and I'm forgetting one of them. Uh, shucky darn. Anyways, it's, uh, I'll be reusing the two terabyte, two two, uh, two each. Uh, previously, from uh, only about like th six months ago or so or less, got uh, two terabyte drives. One will, or they'll both be installed, of course, but uh, they're for you know archiving purposes. Uh, and I got to uh, be installing one uh, 480 gigabyte SSD drive. That's uh, kind of redundant. Solid state drive. And, uh, let me see. God, what is that fucking eighth thingamajigger? I'm gonna, not going to go anywhere until I remember that. Okay, NZXT H630 case. Intel 5930K CPU. Asus X99A motherboard. Corsair H110i GTX liquid cooler. Uh, oh, the thermal paste. Oh, duh. <laughs> One of the more important things because of what we're doing. Uh, we ordered the uh, EVGA superclocked uh, GeForce GTX Titan X, which has uh, a whopping 12 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 VRAM. And that'll chug through the uh, DaVinci Resolve 12 tasks and 30 third-party plugins we'll be using, provided they're OpenCL enabled and can use the GUDA cores, which they all can. In fact, that's one of the reasons why we specifically bought the graphics card for this, because uh, thankfully DaVinci Resolve 12 relies more heavily on the CUDA cores for uh, rendering, as well as I think real-time stuff as well, I'm not sure. As well as the third-party plugins that we'll be using, probably only going to buy like one or two at, at the most for now, um, and that depends on how well I'll be able to uh, denoise some of the low-light footage within DaVinci Resolve without a third-party plugin. And uh, oh yeah, well, 64 gigabytes of the G-Skill RAM, so it's uh, pretty well that's maxed out for the motherboard. And uh, let me see. That's all eight items there. Uh, so anyways, it should be coming in Wednesday. I'll uh, be doing an unboxing a bit of it. And if I feel squirrely about it, you know, I may end up even doing a computer build video. I'm not sure. It just depends on how I'm feeling. <coughs> and what else do we got? Uh, we have... Uh, Reusing hard drives, uh, reusing the uh, DVD-R, CD-R drive. Uh, for now, I'll be installing my uh, Windows 7 64-bit Pro, or Windows 7 Pro 64-bit, which is already running on my current computer, but I'm disassembling that computer, obviously, to scavenge extra hard drives and optical drive. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the Windows 10 upgrade just yet. I've got a year to do that, to think about it, the free upgrade. Um, it just depends if, I, if I'm feeling squirrely. I tried to download the, uh, the Windows 10 upgrade, you know, to the flash drive, uh, as suggested, or as one of the options you can do. And it would get right that, to the end of it and say, you know, could not complete the process, so I have no idea what's going on with that. So if it's that much of a hassle, I'm just going to pretty much tell it, screw it. I'm not unhappy with Windows 7 64-bit. It uh, seems quite stable with the mature operating system. There may be performance gains by going to 8.1 or 10, but uh, I'm not exactly sure I'd have to really research into that to find out if it's really worth the bother. I do not like that stupid app interface. I'm not an app person. I don't use them. 
I've got a smartphone. The only thing I use app-wise is the GoPro app so I can kind of aim the camera a little bit. And that's about it. In an emergency, I might use the Google Maps or something. But other than that, I do not use apps. I don't care for them when I'm out and about. The last thing I want to do is be hunched over staring at some stupid ass phone, poking it with my thumbs. So when I'm out and about, I'm out and about to do something, get something done. I don't need a phone or a tablet or some crap, so I just hate the interface of Windows 8. Thankfully they had a, a shell available out there that you could download and overlay over the Windows standard Windows 8 uh, OS shell or GUI. Because that just sucks, man. I don't need all that stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. So I would step in the wrong direction for Windows. I realize they have all these portable mobile devices that they have to cater to, but I'm not one of those people. And they should have a a standard, standalone operating system for professionals who don't need that crap, don't want the garbage, so that we can just get work done. So I don't do media on my phone, or t I don't have a tablet, the wife does, but I don't do media on that. If I want to get on the computer, I get on my computer. And when I'm done with it, I'm done with it, and I don't think about the th stupid thing. I used to work on them, I'm just kind of tired of the whole technology thing. Don't play games anymore. The only thing I use it for is videos and uh, playing my bass guitar along to music. I haven't even recorded any of my bass covers in a long time because of the arthritis issues with my hands. And at the level that I play at, it's difficult when your hands are on fire or feel like their tendons are about to explode. So I pick and choose when I play, but even then, it's not like before. And, you know, my videos were already questionable as it was, high level of mediocrity, and now they're slipping. So I just do it to keep my fingers limber and my forearms strong, and for mental pleasure. But I don't record them anymore for right now. I may do one or two later on, depends, I don't know how that goes. So anyways, um, just waiting for the wife to show up, and I'll uh, see you later. There's the sunshine out there. Alright, let me get some grub on.